हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैथ लैब एंड आर टी लाइव सो टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज रियल टाइम सिमुलेशन बेसिक एंड हाउ टू डू इट एक्चुअली बेसिक या यू कैन से इट बेसिक फॉर रियल टाइम सिमुलेशन इफ यू आर यूजिंग रियल टाइम सिमुलेशन फर्स्ट टाइम means if you are not expert at it <coughs> so one uh, important thing for modeling this is related to modeling actually matlab simulation uh, matlab modeling means you know i think you know already that for real time simulation you need to model that uh, simulic model in matlab after that you can run with RT lab, <clears throat> but uh, it work with MATLAB only. Means it work with MATLAB. So for real time simulation, means how can you know that your model is uh, okay or not for real time simulation? Suppose you have one model, you have you know how to uh, design it for real time simulation. If you don't know. <coughs> you can check my other videos uh, in my channel and obviously in future also i am going to upload so many videos on matlab and rt lab also so if you are first time to the uh, my channel so i request you to subscribe this channel also <coughs> obviously if it helps you then subscribe rise on it for you i think if you are working in real time uh, in matlab so yeah do subscribe i'm going to upload so many videos i have already uploaded so many videos on matlab and uh, uh, openrt means real time simulation so what i was telling that after modeling if you want to check uh, that your model is uh, okay for real time simulation means for OPLRT or not because like uh, up to MATLAB it is okay uh, the, after that uh, again you need to open uh, uh, RT lab <coughs> and you need to connect OPLRT simulator and all that is like a little bit you can say lengthy process so before starting uh, before doing all those things means at that, uh, you can get error at OPLRT while simulation, uh, simulating or building uh, your model. So before that, you can know how to. Uh, you can get to know that your model is good enough for real-time simulation or not. This process uh, can give you surety up to 99% that yeah, your model is uh, okay for real-time simulation. 99.9 percent .9 you can say so what you have to do you have to generate c code okay you have to generate c code generate c code from simulink means matlab so i think you know uh, maybe you know how to generate c code there is one shortcut way i'm going to tell if you don't know watch this video so and i'm going to show you also okay so if you are able to generate c code from your simulating model then you can be sure that yeah your model will work with uh, openrt means you can do real time simulation of that model okay you can be sure 99.9 percent .9%. so there will be 0.1 chance will be there 0.1 chance will be there that yeah after that also your model <coughs> uh, gives some error at the time of building your model or if you don't know the uh, process nicely that uh, what are the settings you need to do and what are the changes changes you need to do with your model simulic model for real-time simulation 
again i'll say like if you don't know those things you can watch my other videos in my channel you can check there i have talked about that i have given demo videos also about that okay so let's create <coughs> one simple model and let's try to generate that c code from simulink model okay so i have 2021b version let's open simulink i have i have not yet created any model means for this demo again i would like to request whoever came to this channel for the first time subscribe your subscription give me motivation to make videos like this more so what let's create fun constraints and solution school just i'm trying to create one simple thing okay So let's run it. It will give some result. Na? <laughs> Obviously, it will give some result. Okay. My system is little bit slow. Is it not giving any results? Let's try to add addition. Okay. Constant values. I don't know everything about MATLAB and <coughs> RT lab, but what I know. I'm trying to make videos on that so that it can help others also. I'm not an expert in, uh, not in RT lab also, not in MATLAB also. Is it not giving any results? Or it will display something. <laughs> okay, don't know why it is not giving any results. I think it should give results. If you know, please comment or comment box. I will get to learn something from you. I think this is very simple thing, but I am little bit confused. Maybe I just thought maybe it will give some result here, but it is not giving. You guys comment what actually it is so <coughs> i have one model here what i want to do i want to generate codes okay so there is one shortcut thing what it is sorry control plus b okay this is the shortcut thing to generate code from any simulink model control b 
if you uh, if you only just uh, doing for this only uh, for validating your model that it will work or not in uh, real time simulator and so you can build it dot so this is simple thing you can use control b so control b look here you can see cancel option came okay it will generate code you may configure the solver option for a fixed step solver with an appropriate integration algorithm select a target that supports a variable step solver such as rsim dot tlc you can use simulink coder quick start to help you generate code okay so <laughs> i just didn't uh, do it by myself with this model means i just thought at the time of making i'll just do uh, I, i'll just tell you that uh, yeah do do these things you can do so if you try something new uh, you got to learn something so this model is not you can directly uh, generate uh, code okay from here so what are the things it's saying you may configure the solver option for a fixed step solver with the appropriate integration algorithm so what are the things we can do i think we can change the solver option and one more thing select a target that supports a variable step solver such as rsim.tlc if you have faced this tlc problem uh, uh, okay <coughs> then you know these things where to change this uh, variable step target solver for variable step solver okay leave it for now let's try to just there is one more thing i wanted to say but leave it let's try to change the solver what it is let's check variable uh, step solver such as smtlc is it there no no solver details it is not here you see later let's try to change the fixed step <laughs> it will work or not i don't know actually Let's control B. Cancel option came again here downside. Generating code templates ready. Ready option came here. Cancel ready. Okay, done. So look, no error came this time, and you'll see that where it is saved now. In that location, you'll. Where the model is safe, there it will uh, untitled dot so here. Here some file will come. We don't need to check those things. Means that code will come there. Okay, in that file. If you save in uh, in different folder, you will get. <coughs> you can see that one nicely. One uh, code file will come. Not one. I think two, three file will come. Maybe like that. So. This model is like successfully generating C code. Okay, so obviously you can be sure that if you design this model for real-time simulator, it is better uh, first design for real-time simulator and try to generate C code also. Okay, because maybe sometime uh, after adding up some block, it can create. some problem for you also and if you do it again and again you'll get to learn something also again i want to tell you that i'm not ex expert but what i know i'm trying to make videos on those things so it can help others also okay my videos are not for experts who are experts in matlab and atlf who only for beginners so obviously this gonna help some beginners also so this is only basic thing but yeah uh, you should do uh, you should check your model like this so that's it guys 
so what are the things you have to generate c code and how to do it control b there are more options okay right so there are some more options also there thing generate code options are there yeah c code not directly yeah if you <coughs> change so many things you can change here code interface and i have not changed anything whatever default option is there that i have used you can change so many things here okay if you want to change you can change those things code generation here like so many it says you know, system target well tlc that one it will show here <coughs> Do you remember that one? Look, R S I M dot T L C. You could have select this target file. Okay, R S I M here. R S I M dot T L C, or you could have changed the solver. Okay. So these are the things here. You can see. You can change it. So thank you guys. Bye bye.